Let's try that again. Take two. Hello and happy Sunday. That is a new one for me. Um, welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching later, welcome to the replay. My name is Robin and I'm with Robin's A Blue Creations. And I'm also an independent designer with Chat Couture. So once you hop on tonight's live and or the replay, um, say hi in the comments and tell me where you are watching from. If you are hopping on the live later, make sure to put in hashtag replay so that I know that you are here. Um, I'm just turning it on my group so I can kind of monitor that. Let me know how the audio and video is. We um, have a different setup this evening, so <coughs> tell me um, how it looks and how it sounds. Um, so I also want to let you know that I'm live in three locations this evening. So if you hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your comment feed, that person may be viewing and commenting from a different platform. Also, if you are in my private Facebook group, <clears throat> sorry, I have a tickle. Um, there is a, <coughs> oh, excuse me, there is a permission link in the description of the video. Clicking that link just allows StreamYard um, the ability to pin your profile name and pick to your comment. You can choose not to click the link. That's that's a-okay. Just know that your comment will show up as Facebook user in my comments, and I won't know who to say hi to. Also, at any time during the project, if you like what you see and think others should see it as well, please feel free to spread the crafty love around Facebook and YouTube. Hit that heart button, hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, follow, turn on all your no notifications and all of that, and I would greatly appreciate it. So you can see that. Let's go to my comments, and Jason is watching from the other side of the door. He says the stream looks solid. <coughs> Excuse me. I think this humidity is kicking my whatever I have in my lungs, whether it be allergies or other stuff, quite the tickle. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera to our overhead camera. I'm sorry, it's a little, looks a little fuzzy, but maybe it will um, even out. Uh, and as you notice, remind me over here, remember the other night we made these um, molding pumpkins with the little trim molding that I made from these molds and my model magic. Remember we did the um, caulking. So after a while, maybe while our paint is drying, we will kind of check that out. So tonight I'm going to use um, this wood tray that I created from a, um, it's a 12 by 16 piece of glued edge pine. And then I added a couple of little bracing pieces out of Aspen. It was meant to be a wood flag, but I cut it wrong. So it's going to now be a wood tray. I'm going to add some cute little handles. And then I'm going to use this reusable silk screen transfer. This one is called Every Year I Fall For. And it's Every Year I Fall For Pumpkins, Bonfires, S'mores, Autumn Leaves, and You. And these are reusable about 8 to 12 times depending on how well you take care of them. They are also sticky bath silk screen transfers, transfer stencils. Um, because they are reusable, you just need to note somehow, some way on the back side. I'm going to use a pen. The Sharpie doesn't seem to work anymore. Um, I'm going to use a pen. So you just need to write on the back side, whether that it's the back or you can write the name every year I fall for. Just so that when you are finished cleaning the transfer, um, you know that this is the back side of the carrier sheet and it need, the transfer needs to be put on this side of the, of the carrier sheet. So let's put that away for just a little bit. I want to um, kind of distress uh, the front of this uh, wood tray that I made. Hello, Miss Caitlin, how are you? <clears throat> 
welcome. I believe this may be one of your first time live. And you are the owner of Cuts and Pearls in downtown Salina, correct? I think that's how we know each other. So this is some Waverly uh, plaster chop paste. So I'm just going to roughly distress the front of this wood tray. So I'm just going to dip my cheap chip brush. Let's move everything over. So I'm actually in screen. I'm just going to dip it into um, my paint and I'm going to get a little bit off onto a paper towel and with the grain as much as I can. I'm literally just going to paint it. Some places will be heavier than others. Let's get a little bit of thick paint in a few places. And I can't go with the grain here, but because I can't get into that into that tight little space, but we can go up and down and then I kind of try to pull it out so it doesn't look like such a bold, weird stripe right there. So just keep adding paint. <clears throat> wherever you want to. Let's get some paint in there. So this is kind of weird being live on a Sunday, but I have to tell you, I can't be live. Well, I mean, I could be live tomorrow, but ain't nobody wants to experience that because I have colonoscopy prep tomorrow night. So I don't think I'm going to be in very good spirits after about four o'clock. So we're live this evening. Uh, Caitlin says, yes, she is. I, Caitlin, uh, Ashley said you've been sick all week. Uh, I'm glad you're starting to feel better. Uh, she said this made my night. You've been, you've been in a crafting mood and you are ready for fall. Yes, please, especially after the weekend we've had. Um, yesterday, it was like 112, and that was real-time temperature. But luckily, there was a nice breeze. Today, I think, well, my watch says 104. But at one time this afternoon, <clears throat> it was like 102, and it, the with the humidity, which was terrible this morning, uh, the uh, heat index was like 117. It's just been ridiculous. Caitlin says the weather's been awful. I think it's here for the week. It is here for the week. <laughs> I don't think we get a reprieve from it until late in the week. And by then, we might all have melted. And this does not have to be perfect. And if you get too much on or don't like it, you can always sand portions of it off. Let me flip this around. Just put paint wherever you feel like putting paint. Caitlin, uh, Caitlin I, like I said earlier, is the owner of Cuts and Curls Salon in downtown Salina. Uh, she also does I think it's sublimation t-shirts or maybe I don't know what kind of t-shirts but she makes really super cute t-shirts um, sure there's other things she makes hi Margie Margie says it's hot there in Canada as well hot and muggy I think it's pretty much everywhere And if it's not hot, then it's rainy. It's not raining here. It should be, but. I'm gonna try to get some of this. So I accidentally stumbled upon these 
making these wood trays last year when I cut this piece of wood wrong. It was supposed to go this way um, and be a, um, sized for a 12 by 18 wood garden flag, but I cut them wrong. So they've worked perfect for little trays, however. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry for just a sec. And while it's drying, um, I wanted to, I promised you that I would revisit um, this mold that we made the other day. Remember we made these with the Model Magic and we put them on these little Jenga pumpkins. So this is how the Jenga pumpkins start. Um, and actually this is the side that isn't distressed. So this is the molding we made with this particular um, design. We cut it to fit these flat portions. And then on this side, it's been slightly distressed. So it makes the cutest little Jenga pumpkins, which I, this is the third year I've made these, but I wanted to, every year I've made them, I've jazzed them up a little differently. So this year I wanted to add the trim instead of just being a flat pumpkin. So we made these with Model Magic, oops, I just cracked that one, last week. And I was afraid that they would be um, too fragile, that you could poke them and they would leave an indent, which they kind of do. But they're actually, as the days <coughs> have gone on, they've gotten a little stronger. <coughs> Excuse me. So we did this one with um, silicone caulking. Um, and it's, it's actually a lot more flexible than I anticipated it being, but it is a lot more it's a lot harder and I think it's going to be a little bit stronger. So let's, let's see how well it cuts. So I just want to, it's going to be the other test. So I just held it up to the side that I want to fit it to and made a little mark. I think it's going to cut just as well as the model magic. Yep. So it cuts well too. So caulking might be a better alternative than model magic. It just has to dry quite a few more days than the model magic does. So Caitlin says that's a wonderful idea with the moldings and those are adorable. Thank you. I wanted to jazz my pumpkins up a bit, and I saw another craft friend that I follow, Junkin' Craft Treasures. She used these molds with um, paper clay, and I had some model magic on hand, so I worked, did that. I got, this is a cake and fondant mold. I, they sell them at Hobby Lobby, but I actually got this one on Timu. But there's a really cute pie crust they call it a pie crust mold and it looks, it's the same color pink at Hobby Lobby that I want to try. See if it works well. Because I like the whole, the whole trimming and um, the mold, trim molding idea on the pumpkins. Okay, so let's get this dry real quick. And then we'll add our transfer. <clears throat> still yellow from the other day. I'm just going to 
gonna get a little bit oops, of this. And I just messed it up. Before I chalk it, I'm gonna choose this. I'm just gonna clean off some of that dust. Looks a little more stressed that way, I guess. Let's see if we can make the other side match. Okay, so now that we've got it smooth, I still want to add a little bit more protection. So I'm trying to dig up my surface wax. So because this is a painted surface, I don't want my transfer to stick so hard that it pulls up my paint. I also know that I probably didn't sand enough. So there are little nooks and crannies that I can't see or feel. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna heat up my wax a little bit. because mine is a little stiff. Still a little stiff. So I'm just going to rub the wax on and it's going to be a protective layer to keep my... It's really stiff. I think, I don't know if that's my old one. I think that might be my old one. That old one was really hard. Much better. So this will keep my transfer from sticking so hard that it either pulls the wood up or it makes my transfer stick and stretch to the point where it may not be usable anymore. Now I'm just kind of buffing it in. Feels a little bit more smooth. So then let's bring in our transfer and our fuzz cloth. So then this again is the reusable silk screen transfer from Chalk Couture. And it is sticky back but we do want to knock back a little bit of that adhesive. So I'm just going to put it on the fuzz cloth. You can use any terry cloth towel. You can use your shirt. <laughs> you can use your pants. You just want to knock back a little bit of that adhesive so it's not so sticky. And the sticky will return once you do wash it. And then I always have to pick off hairs. I used to blame my dog, but I think they're mine. Okay, so let's put that out and it fits pretty much just perfectly inside the two brace pieces. I'm just kind of eyeballing it from top to bottom, side to side. I am going to have to be I'm going to flip this around. I have this big knot that I filled, but I've missed a few spots. So I think this is the least having the design this way. I think I have the least amount in the actual silk screen. So I'll just have to be really careful when I add my paste. So I'm just going to burnish it. Here's another one. 
I need to get my own washing machine so I don't have to fiddle with hair when I wash my towels. And it's okay to have them on the back, except for my, these happen to be going over the letters. Okay. Good grief. Okay, I think I got them all. So the colors I chose were the new saffron, Papaya, Moss, and Cadet. And this, mine's actually Midnight, but Cadet would work. So I think we're just going to do Saffron, Papaya, Moss, Cadet, Midnight, and then we'll repeat. And then we'll probably go backwards and go Moss, Papaya, and Saffron. So let's open all these up. My papaya is new because I my other one dried up. Let's bring this down a little bit. And then let's get out midnight. I thought these were perfect fall colors. Okay. Out so, much so this is the small squeegee <laughs> and I'm going to go probably from top to bottom and I'm going to do the pull and paste method which probably as I do a line I'm going to pull it that way that paste does not dry in my silk screen as I'm on as I'm using the next colors so I'm just grabbing a bit of chalk paste on my squeegee and actually I'll just do it this way. I'm just going to add it to the silk screen area making sure that I get all of the tips and toes of the letters. Then I'm going to go back through, make sure I've covered every portion of the letter. And then I'm going to even out my squeegee lines. And I'm going to put the excess back in my jar. So then I'm going to pull that layer up. I just want to separate the transfer from the paste. So there is saffron. I'm just going to dry that a little bit. You don't have to dry it totally. And then reburnish the top of the next line. So we're just going to grab a little bit of papaya. Oops. <laughs> grab the wrong end of the squeegee. I'm using the top of the squeegee, but it will still work. I'm just trying to keep out of the line above and the line below. Okay, 
So then we're going to add the moss. And I'm going to have to be really careful right here where I'm over that knot. So I'm going to try to use a light hand. And I'm not going to be surprised if there are bleeds because I'm kind of expecting them where that knot is. Let's take the excess and put it back. Well, it did pretty good. to the bonfires word so i'm using midnight but you could easily use cadet I have put a cart link in the comments um, for uh, all of the products that I've used this evening and other links like my Etsy store, my chalk site, things like that. Make sure to say hi when you popped on. And if you can, make sure you, sh you uh, spread the craft love all over Facebook and YouTube. I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, so let's, we'll just um, Kind of reverse ourselves although i feel like i should use brown for the word s'mores but we're just gonna stick with this color combo us back in. squeegee because I used the wrong end on that one and I don't really want to get papaya all over everything. So now we're on the autumn leaves. And I'm just going to go ahead and finish out with saffron. Get the bill done.
cleanup is super easy. All you need is um, a water source. Ta-da! Which I forgot to get one. Sometimes I clean them in front of you. Other times I spray them down while I'm waiting, but that one's just going to have to wait. It's hard to see from down below, so there's what it looks like. Jason says that looks great. So I'm just going to dump, excuse me, my squeegees into my cute little creamer jar. Put my lids on, and then we'll add handles. be done. So in 30-ish minutes, although I mean I'd already pre-done the base, which the base I forgot to mention was faux stained with Waverly antiquing gel or antiquing wax. Um, I stole that idea from my friend Ashley, but it makes a great stained look on your base. Got a little bit of orange right there. Okay, so let's add our handles. So I need to get hopefully my pokey tool will work. And the screws are over here. I forgot a screwdriver, however. So I just got these handles at Menards. They're super cute handles. Okay, let's get a ruler out. So this is actually let's get our centering ruler out. Doing a little bit of measuring. It's almost spot on. It's pretty spot on. I'm just going to make a starter hole. This aspirin is pretty soft, so it's, oops, helps if I use the right side of the ruler. pretty close. Close enough in my book. Hey, Miss Ashley. Were your ears burning? I was just saying how I had base coated this with our favorite antiquing wax. 
I'm just adding the screws for the handles. <laughs> and I need a screwdriver. I forgot. I have this one, but that might take a while. I may just have to go get my drill. <laughs> Ashley says, best paint ever. It is. It makes the best stain. It gives the best stained look in my apparent, in my opinion, without having the use stain. Stay right here. I'm going to go get my drill because that's where you're going to get it. And then I need to get my bed. Get these drilled in. Or, yeah. Oops, wrong way. Super easy. Um, I am going, I don't think I told you Friday. I'm going live tonight. Hold on, let me get this. Because tomorrow night I will not be in any. Um, way, shape, or form able to make do a live because I have a colonoscopy prep to do tomorrow. So, um, I won't feel like going live tomorrow night. So, and actually, I kind of like Sunday nights. Hey, Miss Kendria. She says, looking good so far. We're almost finished. Okay, there's our cute little tray. <laughs> she says, yeah, I wouldn't do a live either. Yeah, Kendria probably is probably getting ready to realize um, all of the fringe benefits of Club 50, one of which is being <coughs> having your first colonoscopy. So that's why I won't be live tomorrow. I will be having my first colonoscopy on Tuesday. So I won't be live tomorrow. So here's what our tray looks like. <laughs> Kendria says, oh yeah, I fully understand. <laughs> okay, doke. Um, I kind of like this Sunday night though. Give me a thumbs up if you think I should go Sunday night instead of Monday night. So Let's go over a little bit of housekeeping because I've been kind of hit or miss this month. I gotta get a drink. So Kendria, what's the weather like? You're in Mississippi, right? So I was telling everybody, most of my viewers are from locally, except Margie's in Canada and you're in Mississippi, I believe. Yeah. So yesterday it was 112. Um, which it actually, I mean, it was hot yesterday, but there was a, uh, it was windy. And so that made it slightly bearable. Um, but today it was horribly humid. Um, and at one point this afternoon, I looked at the temp and it said like, uh, well, 104, but it felt like 117 after the heat index. So it's just been brutal here. Um, Ashley, oh yeah, Ashley and Jason both vote for Sunday night. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been terrible. So 
Um, needless to say, the humidity has kicked my lungs in the <coughs> full gear. Kendry says it's always humid here, like walk out the door and immediately start sweating. Yeah. Uh, it's been a little less humid this summer, but this morning was horrible. Okay, so just want to remind you, we normally have a color of the month, and I have used it a few times. However, this one sold out, so um, come September 1st, if you're interested in the color of the month, you need to get it um, quickly. Um, so that, that was the color of the month. It was Nominee. It's a really pretty gold metallic sheen color. Uh, we also have the Club Couture Transfer and accompanying shape of the month. So as of August 1st, they Chop Couture added a complimentary shape to each transfer and paste single um, monthly kit. So this month's transfer exclusive to Club Couture members and designers is called Country Fair. And the three paste singles that come with it are Current, Jam, Papaya, and Pesto. Papaya was the orange color that we used this evening. Um, so that is a DIY monthly subscription kit that comes directly to your mailbox every month. Uh, so it includes the transfer, the three paste singles, and the chalk bowl shape. Um, next month is super cute. There is a three month minimum commitment to join, but you can cancel at any time after that. Also, there are two um, Try Me kits this month, and these Try Me kits are curated at 20% off retail price. So it's a great way to, <coughs> excuse me, try Chalk Couture if you haven't, and there's less commitment than joining Club Couture. So the first one is the Hey Pumpkin Try Me kit, and you get the 5x7 board and base, you get the 5x7 Hey Pumpkin transfer, and you get a paste single and orange peel and a mini squeegee. The second Try Me kit this month is Love and Butter. Uh, this one is super cute and that uh, surface is one of my favorite surfaces. It is a double-sided pedestal frame. So you get the 5x7 pedestal frame, the 5x7, the secret ingredient is Love and Butter. Oh, it's always Love and Butter. And then you get a shimmer paste or you get a paste single in Shimmer Harvest and Ocean Mist, and you get a really squeegee. There are also two back to school kits. This one is, um, uh, for, for, for me and myself, I believe is what this one is called, but it's um, perfect for those first day of and last day of pictures, which I'm kind of, it's, a little late for that but um, if you still haven't started school and you're one of those lucky people that don't start until after Labor Day this would be for cute and perfect for your first day of school pictures the next one is the tree teacher appreciation back to school kit so it includes um, a lot of great gift ideas and transfers perfect for teacher appreciation and then as always Uh, sorry, I got a tickle. There's always the perks pack. You can join Chaka Tour as a designer, which that could be as a hobbyist. You could make and sell things to make things to sell on Etsy. You could do workshops, or you could um, build your team of other designers as well. But there is a perks pack available. <coughs> you can also join as a designer for just. Um, nine dollars and 99 cents but that doesn't come with any product so if that's something you're interested in you can always ask about that um, ashley says everything is dying yeah this the heat with no moisture it's it's just brutal let's get that off you now jason's been watering our yard like crazy just hoping that it won't die because really pretty when it's not dead but okie doke again this was what we made this evening it was the uh, every year I fall for transfer I used saffron papaya moss and uh, midnight or you could use cadet 
just added some cable handles and now I have a perfect fall themed tray which would be super cute so I'm gonna hop off so I can get things cleaned up um, and then yeah. so I hope you all have a great week um, pray for me tomorrow and Tuesday uh, my colonoscopy is bright and early Tuesday morning so hopefully by Tuesday afternoon I will be um, well fed and resting. That's my biggest fear though, is because I can't eat anything except jello and broth and popsicles that I'm going to have a horrible headache. So hopefully I won't. Kendra says have a great week and good luck. So I should be live again on Wednesday, but a reminder, no live tomorrow night. So I will see you again on Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you midweek. Thanks for watching.